Hey hey, welcome back to the channel. My name is Anika. I'm an illustrator and graphic designer based out of New Delhi, India. If you're here and you're watching this, you've probably seen more of my Adobe Illustrator tutorials. But if you've not, hey, it's not too late. You can still go back and watch all of the Illustrator and Adobe Fresco tutorials that I release weekly. So make sure to watch those. But today we are going to dive into learning the eyedropper tool in Adobe Illustrator and how to use it effectively and make color swatches and grab them from sampling colors from an image easily and quickly. So if that's something that is interesting to you, make sure to keep watching and subscribe to get notified when I go live and when I upload a new video. All right, let's dive into it. All right, so now you can see my Illustrator screen and this is the tutorial information, some information about me and an image I got off of Pinterest, I think. And we have some ellipses here. This is my layers panel. This is a reference image I have. And we're gonna learn how to sample colors with the eyedropper tool easily and quickly. All right, if you did not know where the eyedropper tool is, this is where the eyedropper tool is. This is how it looks like. It is like a pipette tool, like a dropper. You can copy and apply appearances between objects. All right, the shortcut for that is the key I on your keyboard right over here, you could see and it's just selecting if you look at this color closely you will see that once i click on this it changes as i move on to it and click on to different colors from the image all right let's make some colors shall we so technically how i've seen a lot of people do it is select the ellipse or the shape that you want to sample colors in and then go press i on your keyboard and select the color from the image but you know what we can actually reduce one step from that let me undo this and show you how it's done press i on the keyboard again and let me sample a different color this time let's sample this blue right over here you can see that the blue is sampled right over here right i need to get this blue into this guy and this time i just hold option and click Voila, we have a color already selected in here. We don't need to select the object. We can just press option click and that is going to do our work for us. Press option click and voila, we have our stuff right over here. We have our colors. I'm just doing the same thing over and over again. Let me actually make this a little bit beautiful for you. We have blues over here. All right, all right. Let's get some of this purple in here. Maybe you want some this, maybe you want this blue. All right, what about this green? Let's let's capture this green. We get some greens in here. So it's the same repetitive process, but you're just decreasing a single step and that I think is pretty dang neat. All right, so moving on, this is how you can use the eyedropper tool. And we have some other options right over here. This is basically just different things. I'm gonna ungroup every single thing. This is just a simple ellipse with just a fill. This has a fill and stroke. This has a gradient, which is a radial gradient that you can see right over here. We have a radial gradient applied to it. Oh wait, you could, couldn't see that. Hey, let me bring it over here. This one has a radial gradient right over here. So that's that. And this one I think has an effect on it. This has a feather effect on it. Let's see what happens when we use the eyedropper tool to copy the appearance of these already created um, fills and strokes to this basic appearance. All right, I'm gonna press I on the keyboard, which I did to get the eyedropper tool. Select this guy and click option, click on this one. It copies the fill perfectly. All right, let's see what happens on the second one. Oh, hey, it works. So let's see if it works on gradients. All right, it still works. But what if I do this? Okay, that didn't work. Well, here's an observation. That did not work because this one had an effect applied to it. The eyedropper tool does not copy the effects that you apply to it. But you see that all of these things applied to my objects. That is because I had it selected in my properties. So if I go over to my eyedropper tool and double click this guy, we have the eyedropper options right over here. We have all of these fun options here. We have appearance, eyedropper picks up. I have every single thing selected over here, which is why it is helping me pick up the color, transparency, overprint, weight, cap, join, character style, and transparency and focal fill. And it also applies to it. 
So as per your convenience, you can go ahead and actually select and deselect any of the options that you want. You can select maybe I don't want the cap, maybe I don't want the overprint. So depending on your abilities and your uh, requirements, you can actually go ahead and deselect or select any of the options that you'd like. All right. That concludes today's video. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you have a great rest of your day. But if you do need other Adobe Illustrator tips and tricks, make sure to watch the playlist that I have created already. Make sure to subscribe to me. That really helps me out, make more videos for you guys. And you will get notified whenever I post a new one or when I go live, which is soon, by the way. All right. I hope you have a great day. Stay safe and stay creative, folks. Bye for now.